No one's gonna read a comic strip about a strong man in tights, Joe. It'll never fly. Fly, no. But he can leap over tall buildings. Oh, wow, yeah. See what your cousin Frank says in Toronto. Wait, wait, Lois. I I've got something for you. Take it. It's a gift. You never know. It might be worth something someday. Is he great or what? Bye-bye, Lois. No one's gonna read a comic strip about a strong man in tights, Joe. No one's gonna read a comic strip about a strong man in tights, Joe. No one's gonna read a comic strip about a strong man in tights, Joe. Hello YouTube, I'm JB and this is Capital JB Comics. Happy Canada Day to everyone watching this video. Happy Canada Day to everyone. Happy Canada... <sighs> What's he saying, Father? Uh, Commandant Cartier, he's saying uh, this nation's name is uh, Canada. In this video, I have a CGC unboxing for you guys and I will be also starting a new segment. The segment that I will be starting is a monthly hot or not comics review where I will be taking all the books that were hot for a month and revisit them to see if they were just a flash in the pan or if those books are still hot and climbing. So let's start with the books that came out on June 5th. First up, we have Deadpool number one. This is a 1 in 50 Jerome Apina incentive variant. This book is currently selling between 20 to 30 dollars. I honestly have no idea why this book is not doing more. I absolutely love this cover. Batman number 48. This is cover B, a Cho variant. This is selling at cover price. Harley Quinn number 43. This is currently selling for about 350 from $2.99. The Immortal Hawk. This is the 125 variant. This is currently selling for, for about $20. The 150 variant is selling for about $30 to $40. Now for the books that came out on June 13th. Thor number one. This is a 125 Ward variant. This is currently selling for about $15. You also have the 1 in 50 Ribic variant that is selling for about $20 to $35. I would hold on to these guys because once issue number 5 comes out and that mysterious Wolverine character shows up again, I think interest in these two books will come back up. The Weekend presents Starboy number 1. This is selling for about six to ten dollars. The one that is selling for big money is the limited variant that he was selling on the site, which is the exact same cover, but the background is black instead of red. Venom number two. This is the one in twenty-five variant. This is currently selling for twenty-five to thirty-five dollars. I think uh, renewed interest in this book since number three came out this week. DuckTales number 9, this is a 1 in 10 variant, uh, this is currently selling for about $20. Marvel Rising Alpha number 1, this is currently selling from $70 to $95. This has cooled a bit but not by much. Now the books that came out on June 20th. Champions number 21, Champions vs Alpha Flight cover A. This is selling for about $15. This is the first appearance of Snow Guard. But like I said before, if you have number 19, 20, 21, this is going for about $35. X-Men Gold number 30. This is the J. Scott Campbell classified variant. This is selling for about $15. Aquaman number 37. This is currently selling between $7 to $12. This is the Middleton B variant. Green Lanterns number 49. This is cover B from Warren Lou. This is currently selling between $10 to $14. Now for the books that came out on June 27th, 2018. 
Bad Girl number 24. This is cover B by Josh Middleton. This is currently selling for 10 to 14 dollars. Moon Girl and the Devil Dinosaur number 32. This is currently selling for 14 to 19 dollars. Ms. Marvel number 31, Legacy number 50. This is cover B. This is currently selling for about 19 to 25 dollars and don't forget there is a frankie store variant where this is a virgin cover and these are really hard to find right now teen titan special number one this is currently selling between 10 to 16 dollars venom number three this is cover a this is currently selling for about 16 dollars Venom number three, this is cover B, this is the 1 in 25. Molina cover, this is selling for about $100 plus. There was also a Thor number two, this is the 1 in 25 variant, this is selling at ratio for $25. So these are the books that came out for June 2018. Let me know what you guys think. Should I continue with this segment? Is it beneficial? Let me know below in the description. If you guys like it, I will continue. If you don't, then it will go to the side. Also, let me know what you guys think of a good working title for this new segment. Now, let's move on to the CGC part of this video. First book is Bad Girl number 1, New 52, rated at a 9.6. Um, I also got it signed by Adam Hughes. Bad Girl number 1, this is the second printing. I also got it signed by Adam Hughes and it is graded at a 9.4. The one before it was a third printing. Bad Girl number 1, New 52, graded at a 9.4. This is the second printing signed by Adam Hughes. Walking Dead 108, this is graded at a 9.8 signed by Carrie Payton. This is the actor that plays the king on The Walking Dead. Batman and the Shadow number 5. This is cover B by Francesco Martina. I really love this cover and I got him and I got it signed by Francesco Martina himself. Green Lantern number 1. This is new 52. Uh, this is gridded at a 9.6. This got signed by Jeff Johns and this is the recalled edition because of the little misprint right here. Batman The Dark Knight Returns number one. This is actually my first copy, my second copy I received with the batch here. I sold it off eBay but it also came back at a 9.6 signed by Frank Miller and Klaus Jensen. Batman The Dark Knight Returns number four signed by Klaus Jensen and Frank Miller graded at a 9.4. Dark Knight 3, The Master Race number 1. This is a 1 in 500 Jim Lee variant, graded at a 9.8. This is signed by Jim Lee, Frank Miller, Klaus Jensen, Andy Kubert, Brian Azzarello. Am I missing anyone? Jim Lee, Frank Miller, Brian Azzarello, Klaus Jensen, and Andy Kubert. Totally Awesome Hulk number 22. This is signed by Greg Pak came back at a 9.8 really happy about that wonder woman number 36 this is a 1 in 100 finch variant this is signed by meredith finch and david finch himself came back at a 9.8 star wars special c3po number one this is a 1 in 1000 variant this is signed by anthony daniels the actor that plays c3po came back at a 9.8 this concludes our video. These were my signature series CGC books. I have about 15 other signature series books to show you guys. And I just got word from my buddy Kevin Polidano, the comic book doctor, that I am about to receive 68 CGC graded books. So I have to get on those. Also, I showed you guys the books that I picked up for the month of June 2018. Let me know what you guys think of my new segment idea if I should move forward with it or not. This is Capital JB Comics. Have fun collecting guys. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.